You still have to quit uh, accepting bad behavior and attitude. Yes, yes. Um, in a healthy, sane, functional environment, it is free from abuse, mm. both ways. Mm. As an employee, I should not have to take any abuse from my managers and yeah. leaders, but certainly as, as a boss, it shouldn't. I'm going into companies now where managers, they're being yelled at, hollered at, looked at, talked at, rolled eyes. I mean, they're taking things from 30, 40, and 50-year-old people that they wouldn't take from a 7-year-old. Yeah. They wouldn't let a 7-year-old talk to them this mm -hmm. way. They wouldn't let a 12-year-old look at them this way. Mm -hmm. But here's a 30, 40, and 50-year-old. Abuse is not good on either side. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a right to treat our boss badly. We don't have a right to be treated badly. But I will say this, it often starts from the top. Mm. You know, there is anger, there is yelling, there is neglect, there is whatever's going on. And then employees get used to, or the next level of management, that's how they're treated and yeah. they treat us. And the cycle keeps going down. Yeah. And attitude fits in there as well, not just behavior, but attitude specifically. Oh. I mean, let's say we're at a meeting and you're up and, and you're the boss and there's 20 people in the room and here's how I'm sitting. That, that's, that's abuse, okay? I mean, there's not a person in this room that's not seeing me. That's disrespect. I mean, I'm looking at, I may not be saying anything to you, but I'm purposely sitting in a way with a look on my face so that everyone else knows that at this moment I'm not respecting you. And, and that can't be. In a healthy functional environment, we don't let people treat one another badly. It, it's not acceptable behavior. Mm. And, and the way we allow our employees to treat one another then, then filters down to how they treat their customer. Mm. You know, when I go into companies and they'll say to me, Connie, can you talk on customer service? And I go, why? Well, our employees are treating our customers terrible. Mm. Well, no, don't give me your employees. Give me your leaders. Mm. Your leaders are allowing people to treat their customers badly, and they're still paying them a paycheck. Mm. So this isn't a customer service problem, this is a management problem. And there's been lots of research showing that the way that you treat your people in an organization is the way that they will treat your customers. Oh, totally. I've seen that many, many It's the way you treat your kids, is the way they'll treat their pets and yeah. their own kids. I yeah. mean, it, 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 we learn, we just learn. And, and so many of us think that the way we talk or treat people, it, what's, it's like in a vacuum, it's not. It's yeah. just gonna go in and they're gonna learn it and then it's gonna happen to something else. Yeah.